Okay, let's get right to it. I don't have much time, but this is gonna help you. Do stuff like this every day. Take a bar chord, let's just do A, G, C, all majors. Inside of that, you have to know that triad's in there. The one, three, five, A, C sharp, E, G, B, D, C, E, G, okay? But what I really want you to do is the distance between two notes, an interval. So here's the, we're gonna pedal off the root. So the A to the major third, A, C sharp. Look, and it's right there in that triad to the fifth, that's on the B string, and the sixth. So something like this. Okay, if you can't get that, just do like root third, go like, especially if you're not a good finger picker yet, okay? To the third and the G, I mean the intervals, to the C intervals. Okay, now mix it up. Maybe you start on the triad on the A to the intervals in the G and C like this. Okay, what do you notice the difference between the triad and the intervals are? The interval gets the low E in it, so you're getting more of a, you get more low in there if you're playing by yourself, all right? So maybe try the triad, then to the intervals. Okay, because what I want you to do is I want you to practice mixing this up. I want you to build that awareness. So if you want to strip something down with intervals, you know how to do it. And you want to get even a little more advanced. Do you see how I put a little vibrato on that? Okay. A little pull off. All right, so that's what you're gonna do. So every day, if you can't do all three bars, just pick one. Just sit, stay on the A and see if you can get this real slow. Just root, third, again, root, fifth, root six, okay? Same thing on the G, and then up to the C. So watch my thumb and my picking hand now, watch this. So that's just like a really quick exercise. So like, again, maybe do that thing, start off on the triad. Okay, so there's all these like color tones in there too. So like triads. Okay. And this is when it gets really fun playing by yourself, but I love the intervals, they're really pretty sounding and you get a lot of low in it there because I'm pedaling off of the low E, the root notes. Shank. All right, you guys get it? So just one day at a time, this is just a quick little exercise. Drop in the comments how it's working for you. Tell me what you're doing. You know, Do you know about intervals? How are you doing with your triads, okay? There's triads everywhere, there's intervals everywhere. We just did it pedaling off the low E, but you have the intervals off of like the A root note too. You know what I mean? So you could change it if you wanna go a little bit further. You could take like the A here, right? And then go to the G here. And then the C down here. All right, so number one rule, have fun. Keep going every day. I want you to do little drills like this. Drop in the comments how you're doing. You guys know the drill. Check out the links. Drop jellyfish in the comments, or there's a jellyfish, or drop shark, or whatever your favorite sea creatures. That's kind of become a thing around here. I love knowing who's made it to the end. All right, check out the videos here. Lots of triads. I'm going to reorganize the triad list for you, like by string set, by keys, every single triad for every single string set. That's coming soon. Music Theory Monday will drop next Monday. It's just gonna be where I do a episode every Monday that's gonna teach you a little bit of music theory. So just, this is a language. It's a journey, only you can stop you. You're not gonna stop. You're gonna keep going. I will see you in the next video. Peace.